Good evening, it's Brian at Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Kildare. I want to show you this car here. This is a car we own since brand new. It is our 2018 Honda HRV, and this is an ES diesel model. Brian's my name, for any information you want to this car, please do give me a call. WhatsApp, text, whatever suits, 086 843 Fitzpatrick's Garage, we are Honda, Hyundai, Mercedes dealers in Kildare Town, about 35 minutes out of Dublin. Locations in Car, sorry, Carlo, Nace, Tullamore as well for Hyundai. Honda's here in Kildare, Mercedes here in Kildare as well. Anyway, let's have a look at this car. This is a really, really nice car because it is an ESI model, but there's two things on that car I think that make it stand out really nice. These side steps over here and these tinted rear windows as well. And it looks really, really well on the black and white car overall. So anyway, let's have a look. The first thing is, again, apologies about the camera. I'm waiting on a new camera to come. So the uh, quality is unfortunately not as good as I'd like. But at the front, we see there is front fog lights. There is down low this nice little splitter along here so it just makes it look lower to the ground. After that then, this is a kind of piano black finish on the grill. Nice chrome going along through there. After that then, these are daytime running lights and also parking lights. In through here you have automatic headlights so at night time they come on themselves and also when you meet traffic they dip and then when you go back into a lit area they go full by themselves. Parking sensors are standard on the front of that car. Underneath the bonnet there is a 1.6 diesel 120 horsepower with 300 newton meters of torque engine. That is a fun fun car to drive. Honestly, that is a fun car to drive. That is lots and lots of power in that car, but it's super economical because it has the same chassis, believe it or not, as the Jazz. It is a bigger car overall, but same chassis. But there is up to 74 miles per gallon. So realistically speaking, 60, 65, all the no problem. That is doable. 17 inch alloy wheel, which is nice and diamond cut. After that, then you've got emergency brake assist, anti-lock brakes, emergency brake distribution, all those doors have side impact protection beans. The second thing that makes this one distinctive is they have a really nice side running board. So what I mean by that is that is normally your normal side skirt but actually the way the side running boards come for an Honda they actually come with a whole new section so basically you get the board that's built into that so it's actually the whole bottom side is replaced so it's really really tidy and I just think on the car when you're looking at it overall it just gives it that kind of chunky because a lot of SUVs they look quite high but these little side running boards they just make it look a little bit lower to the ground a little bit sportier overall I suppose the rear tinted windows on the back then as well uh, they're just privacy glass uh, the car doesn't come with them as standard so we put them onto the car with the side running boards as well and I think it's a really nice addition so it looks well but actually in terms of keeping sun out of children's eyes it's quite nice as well there is a chrome door handle over here and then after that these uh, rear door handles are actually recessed up in through there. The key, uh, sorry, the car basically will also have, when you lock the car, you can let the windows down and the wing mirrors will come in and when you unlock it, we'll say windows, um, sorry, when you unlock it, the windows can come down and wing mirrors come out and when you lock it, the windows go up and the wing mirrors go in. So the cool thing about that car is you can walk away from it and basically if you leave your lights on or your windows down or mirrors down, you can hit the button and it'll turn off the lights and it'll also basically uh, bring the windows back up and the wing mirrors back in. The condition is absolutely perfect. There's less than 4,000, sorry, less than 5,000 kilometers on the car. So as you'd expect, the condition is really, really good. After that then, we're just going to have a look in the boot. Rear tail lamps are nice LED in through here. And then along the back along here, we also have parking sensors there and a nice chrome tail pipe exhaust finisher down along through there as well so it's a really stylish looking car i think and what's nice about it is as we were saying just the boards and the privacy glass make it stand out from all the other es's that are around right okay so the rear tray ended up on the back there so there's actually a really really big boot in the back of these and then this tray in through here apologies now normally the camera i have you can stop it uh, in this case this is not a one-handed operation so anyway I'll have to do that uh, when I have two hands here. So I'm going to leave the camera back here and do this properly. Uh, okay, so... And... Apologies. Poor hardware available at the moment. Right, so this looks... Some people used to give it, oh, it's quite flimsy. Honestly, I've been away on holidays in these kind of cars. You actually want that because there's so much stuff that builds up in the back of the car. You want that flexibility, so that's the idea of it. After that then, this handle here drops down. What's really cool about the back of these is they are, uh, these and Jazz have obviously child locks back through here, electrics for rear uh, windows in through there. And then after that, the seats are folding. And then if I hit that button in through there, it locks. And similarly again, if I drop that forward, then we have a large area, which is like basically a light commercial vehicle. If I drop that 
all the way down and the safety belts move out of the way and I can do it on the two sides so it is pretty useful after that then as we get into the front of the car there is an armrest in through here which moves backwards and forwards and I can open it and I've got more storage in through there after that then I've got my drinks holders in through here which you can hit the button to pop them back out after that then I have six forward gear gearbox you have parking a brake with a brake hold which stops you rolling backwards on a hill uh, start stop function in through here you will have heating controls so speed up or slow down the fan uh, all that kind of stuff is in through there where you want the air to blow uh, rear windscreen demisters all that kind of stuff in through there as well after that um, touch screen Honda Connect setup so if you look at that it's actually got an active um, Ooh, the screen doesn't pick it up this camera is really bad uh, so in through there you can see there's kind of this is quite bright but it does actually uh, just this camera is struggling with it and once you drive away the handbrake it actually changes into a different screensaver along the back and puts a more static one when you pull up the handbrake it goes for a more active sort of scene screensaver only small thing anyway but really the main functionality is going to be my mobile phone works in through here um, which is once it's connected obviously that'll be all set up through there after that then I have my audio functions in through here and down over here I've got USB connectors and HDMI if you want to play video two USB connectors if you want to charge phones and all that kind of stuff down in the tunnel just off to the left um, after that then it'll also tell me when I go forward in terms of if I move towards this Passat CC it's telling me where I've got a problem here and actually all the same information comes up over there as well after that I'm just going to clean this screen because it's a little bit dirty uh, after that then we'll move back out of there the gears are six forward like we were saying the lights overhead are actually quite nice because they're like a, an LED so it gives some nice light and then the same in the rear of the car so I'd imagine yeah when I open up get your LEDs in the back as well so they're kind of cool uh, this is what I see in front of me so this actually changes color when I'm driving economically you can set whatever way you want the color to be or you can have it random or whatever but it it actually changes mood as you're driving so it gives you an idea of your throttle position and how hard you are on fuel efficiency revolution counter in through there and then trip information over here like average speed fuel efficiency all that kind of stuff in through there cruise control over here wipers are automated lights are automated and like we we're saying me traffic they dip and back into an unlit area they go full bluetooth is in turn through here and these are just controls for the section we saw in through there over here i have econ which is going to reduce how aggressive my cruise control is how aggressive my air conditioner is and how aggressive my throttle position is i can have lane change warning which warns me if i drift out of lane i can turn on or off the alarm traction control over here and like we we're saying then in through here it's also going to tell you things like your current speed uh, zone i.e if you pass by a speed camera or anything like that it's telling you sorry not a speed camera if you pass by a speed zone like a sign it'll tell you what speed uh, zone that you're in so it's very very handy and you can also link the uh, speed limiter to limit you once it's detected a zone so very useful information overall um, so that is pretty much it the car is real tidy as of this video now it might go up because the car is in use 4,300 kilometers on the car um, but they are a hoot to drive because as I was saying that 120 horsepower, 300 newton, mar 300 newton meter torque engine is great fun to drive and the nice thing is it's a, you know, it's an SUV but it's smaller end of the SUV market so it drives the exact same as a car so it's interesting to drive and I think this one looks really well because the wheels have black on them and then you have the nice diamond cut and then you have the black skirt with the sidestep white and black and black windows it just all comes together I think really really well so that is a nice looking car overall if there's any information on the car please do call text whatsapp 0868431945 we can take any part exchange we can organize finance or anything like that so hopefully this car is of interest and thank you for taking time to watch and if there's any information you want do not hesitate to give us a shout we are a family run business in operation for almost 70 years so we're going to spend a lot of money at least you know that we're going to be looked after again thank you for taking time to watch